Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, going to Germany for the next one. I'm going to get a Weizen down me. And we're getting a Weizen in us from the oldest brewery in the world. It's Weihenstefana and it is their Heffer Weiss beer. Coming in at 5.4% ABV. Picked this one up in my local Sainsbury's. It was 180 a bottle. They have it alongside Franzenkana and Erdinger. All priced the same. Um, this... I mean, the opinions are open on this one. I mean, a lot of people do really like the Weihenstefana, consider this their favourite um, Heffer Weiss beer. I've not drunk this one in ages, but at the moment, my favourite is Fantinkana. Um, but I'm ready to have my opinion changed. So this is, I tell you, 5.4% ABV Heffer Weiss beer. It's got water, wheat, malt, barley malt, hops and yeast in it. Um, yeah, not all else to say about it. A German, classic German Weizen. There is the bottle cap. Um, the light is really, really blurring that, but you get the gist. Um, so yeah, oldest brewery in the world, these guys. These guys have been brewing since 1040. So nearly a thousand years of brewing beer, which is insane. Um, bottle cap, so it gives me the chance to show off my new cap, my new bottle opener. I present to you the cap gun. Cock it. Open the bottle and shoot it at someone that you don't like. Great fun. Vizen glass ready. Here's the pour. I did give the glass a rinse, as is recommended, and as is, as far as I'm aware, traditionally done in German bars when they uh, give you a Vizen. Give the bottle a bit of a wriggle at the bottom. Get all the sediment, all the goodness. You want all that in there. At least I do anyway. Lovely jubbly. So there is the Bayern Stefana bottle. And there is the Bayern Stefana Hefeweiss in its glass. It looks lovely. Look at the carbonation rushing up that. That is a picture. I don't think there's anything better than the look of a, a freshly poured Weizen. It, it always looks fantastic. Um, my pour was probably slightly gentle because normally the head on this is right up to the top, but um, I probably didn't go vigorous enough with the pour, but it's still got a head that's maintaining itself. One finger, creamy looking white head, beautiful golden looking beer, masses and masses of carbonation rushing up the glass. Beautiful, hazy gold color. Let's get our nose in, see what sort of aroma we're dealing with. Expecting banana, cloves, maybe a little bit of toffee. Let's see. And yeah, straight away. Subtle though, subtle banana, subtle cloves. Slightly herbal, peppery aroma. Slight bit of citrus, bit of orange peel there. Yeah, certainly citrusy, clovey, subtle banana. Subtle toffee. Smells really good. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh. God, I love a Vizen. I really, really enjoy a Vizen. There never seems to be a bad time for one. I'm always in the mood for one without even realising it. You know, I don't drink them all that often i kind of try and keep these as sort of a a one-off you know once in a blue moon type thing to keep them special and i think that's the best way because i don't want these things to get boring um it always seems like a special occasion when i drink one of these and especially when you pour it into a visor and you get it looking like that um it's lovely the mouthfeel is mm. So, citrusy, orangey, you're getting the cloves, you're not really getting a banana in the flavour. There is a slight spice to it, slight peppery, peppery flavour to it. But yeah, orange peel, coriander, slight clove flavour, slight pepperiness. The mouthfeel is soft, it's quite light, it's very drinkable. It's very drinkable. You're not getting any booziness to it, really. Mm. 
nice gentle carbonation to it as well. You feel it. Really helps throw that kind of spiciness, the pepperiness around at you. Um, another thing I quite like about Vizen is they always have that kind of Christmas feel to them. The ingredients, the spices that go into Vizen's do give it that slight kind of festive edge. I mean, I know Christmas is gone now. Um, I should have been drinking this over Christmas, but uh, it does. It takes me to a, a Christmas market in Bavaria or something, you know. It just has that kind of feel about it. Lovely, soft, creamy mouthfeel, but not thick. You know, don't get it twisted. It's soft. It's light. It glides down. Gentle carbonation. When that carbonation dies down, that's when you get the real flavour. That's when you get that close. That's when you get that subtle, that's very subtle toffee malt kick to it. And then at the back end, that cloves, the spiciness, that subtle pepperiness. Um, I think off the top of my head, from drinking the, the big three, and I say the big three, the ones that are readily available, the Erdinger, the Franzinkana, and the Weihenstephaner. I think this is probably the most complete, the most rounded Weizen, um, which is probably why a lot of people consider it the best. Um, the Erdinger is probably the more peppery, the more spicy, perhaps the more savoury, if you like, Weizen out of the three. Franzinkana, for me, has a slight more banoffee, banana, subtle toffee malt. Uh, flavor maybe slightly sweeter this kind of does both of those things it has that slight sort of toffee malt sort of caramelly but then it also has the sort of spiciness of the cloves and slight bitterness at the back end um, so it's probably the more rounded the more complete vison of the three I think what I might do is do a video where I put this against Francine Carnot because those two for me are my favourite out of the ones I've had. I've had the Paul Arna Weizen as well, um, which was, again, perfectly decent. Perfectly decent. Um, I think Erding I can rule out as being my favourite. Um, I know Lidl and Aldi both do their own Weizens. The uh, Patronus at Lidl and the Rheinbacker at Aldi. Both perfectly acceptable Weizens. But when you get to the other supermarkets like your Tesco's and your Sainsbury's, you get ones like this where it just goes up a notch. And uh, for me, I think this is probably the most complete, well-rounded Vizen. I'm just not 100% sure if I prefer this or Francine Carner. I'm kind of a, a stalemate with the two. So maybe expect a uh, a battle between those two. Just for my own sake, I'm just being selfish, really. But like, uh, but if you fancy seeing that, let me know in the comments below. Um, this is a lovely beer. It's so refreshing. Despite the, the body, despite that kind of slight, so subtle, spicy pepperiness at the back end, it's so thirst-quenching. It's so refreshing. They look beautiful in the glass. They're probably the most... You'd be hard pressed to find a, a more a more beautifully presented beer than a freshly poured Weizen in a Weizen glass. I think they're stunning to look at. Um, this one, it's light, citrusy, slight toffee malt, slight bit of caramel there, and then really getting the cloves and nice bit of pepperiness at the back end that really completes it and rounds it off. It's a beautiful drinking beer. It really is lovely. Um... For some for some reason, I still think I prefer the Francine Carner, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is a glorious beer. It is a glorious beer. And uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So one more. Oh, I could sit and drink a few of these happily. You're getting none of that 5.4%. You know, it's lovely body, lovely flavour. The drinkability to it is exceptional. Um... So yeah, Weihen Stefaner's Heifer Weiss beer. Pick this one up in Sainsbury's, one pound eighty a bottle. Um, that might be the cheapest place to get it. Um, I imagine lots of out online retailers will stock it as well. Um, but yeah, go out and try that one. Cracking Weizen, <laughs> really good. Excuse me. So nine out of ten for this one. 
really hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you have. And until my next one, you take care.